Hey everybody, Drew Lentz, the Wireless Nerd, and today I want to walk you through a design for a home. I have a friend, wonderful friend, who owns a construction company called Century Construction down here in South Texas. They build magnificent homes, and the one that they just finished building was built to spec, and they've entered it in the local parade of homes. Now, one of the things that I do for my friend, because I'm a wireless nerd and she's a home builder, is I like to take her floor plans from time to time and show her where to put Wi-Fi for her clients so that they have an incredibly, wonderfully awesome, meaningful Wi-Fi experience inside their home. And I brought her in and I showed her why that's important. So I wanted to share that with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this home site that my buddy has put together. And I'm gonna walk you through doing a quick Wi-Fi design using the Eero product for in-home Wi-Fi. So you can see I've already gone ahead and I've drawn out the walls. I've outlined the walls in brick on the outside and the inside for drywall. I've defined where the doorways are, I've defined where the windows are. It's a really nice house you can see it's really pretty there's the entrance right here and here's the main side there's a bathroom back here there's a really nice large shower that they have it's a great looking shower and it's got a sunroom on the side it's got a little area that the homeowner will be using for their office and it has a bedroom off to the side of that now back here on the patio there's a pool so wi-fi coverage back there might be important as well what we're going to do is we're going to look at this area right here where it says three plugs now in this area i noticed when i was doing the walkthrough of it that this is where at&t fiber is delivered so naturally I think this is going to be the first place where they put a Wi-Fi access point and so using the Aero product what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a Wi-Fi access point so I've got the technology's Wi-Fi I'm looking at the Aero Max 7 we're going to be mounting it on a table or in this case we're going to mount it on a on a desk and it's about three and a half feet 3.28 feet above the ground so I'm just going to click right by this plug we'll stick it right here in the middle and you can see that immediately it shows where the Wi-Fi coverage is of this access point and this is pretty Pretty neat you can look and you can browse around and you can see room by room where it's going to cover and this is important to look at because this is the first ap so this first ap is going to cover the office area it's going to bleed out through that doorway and the patio out to the pool so she's going to have great wi-fi coverage out there it's going to cover a little bit of this bedroom here a little bit of that you know pretty good coverage in that bedroom right there but it doesn't do much for the living room it doesn't do much for the bedroom or for the bathroom on the other side so we're going to take and we're going to place another one now Inside the living room here, the entertainment center is gonna be right up front. There's a dining area that's over here. There's also a little uh, area right here where she has a shelf and there's power on that shelf. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick another device right there on that shelf. Now that does a really good job of opening up that main area, providing nice Wi-Fi coverage. So primary coverage for this, we're measuring uplink, Wi-Fi uplink coverage on five gigahertz. So we wanna measure what the uplink looks like instead of the downlink to make sure we're getting a nice strong signal. This covers the, the living room area covers the kitchen area but you can see it dips out around this corner right here this area that leads out to the garage there's a little corner so we're losing some coverage there and if you move it out to the side over here you can see that in this uh, bedroom and up into this bathroom over here there's not a lot of coverage the closet has good coverage but this doesn't have too too decent coverage so we're going to take another ap and we're just going to go ahead and place it right over here on this bedside table and we're going to enable coverage in that area this bleeds off into the bathroom the shower i'm actually not not too worried about providing Wi-Fi coverage for. So, and the toilet, you know what? I mean, it can be said that you're gonna need good coverage on the toilet in case anyone's sitting there using Instagram. So we might wanna cover that as well in the future. We could stick one in the closet and that would enable that coverage there or stick one in this little pantry area. But for right now, we'll go ahead and leave it as is. And then in the guest bedroom right there, this looks like it has good primary coverage. Now, what I wanna look at is something that I'm more concerned with. It looks like three will do the job for providing primary coverage across this entire property. Property, and that's good but the one thing that a lot of people miss out on is what's called secondary coverage now secondary coverage is very very important especially in this day and age when a lot of people are using their cell phones to talk and make phone calls with primary coverage is fantastic it means that you can see one access point you can hear one access point with your phone but secondary coverage means that you can see an alternative or secondary access point using your phone this is super important because as you walk through the house if you don't have good secondary coverage your call will drop when it's looking for that second ap 
property. So if we go back onto our Hamina design right here and we look at this, we're gonna change from Wi-Fi uplink coverage primary to coverage secondary. And look at this, y'all. This is exactly what I wanted you to see is in the majority of this home because of the construction and the corners and the number of rooms that, that she has and the way that it bends around, your primary coverage is only really good in this main corridor. There's not a lot of good Wi-Fi secondary coverage. And that's an issue because as you're walking, your primary coverage may be fantastic, but that secondary coverage isn't going to provide a way to walk around the house without dropping a call. What that means is if you're sitting in the office right here and you walk off, it's going to be fantastic until you get into this area over here and then you might drop. And if your call drops, that's bad news. So what we want to do is we want to design to make sure that secondary coverage is a primary way to design. So secondary should be primary, right? Is that what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another access point. Now, your row is so sold in three packs or individually or in two packs. And so I want to be cognizant of that. So in the three pack, if you purchase it, this is what you're going to get. But if I take another AP, and let's say that I take another AP and I drop it somewhere in the living room. Look what that does. Just one more AP. Look at what that does for your secondary coverage. Now, your device has two access points that it can communicate with, and that's pretty cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add one more because I really want to bulk up that secondary coverage for the back area of the house. So if you're walking from the pool inside, you're taking care of. And so right here on the nightstand uh, or in the, in the guest bedroom, I want to add another AP in there. Or I'm sorry, in the sunroom. And and now you've got really good secondary coverage looking all throughout the house, which means as you move around this house, you're not going to worry about your cell phone signal dropping. You're not going to worry about your call dropping. Go back and look at our primary coverage. It looks stellar. Our primary uplink coverage right here and the primary downlink coverage, of course, is going to be fantastic. And if we want to check that at any given moment, we can use Amina's little, little roaming person right here and we can zoom in and we can say if I'm in this area and I walk from here as I walk through the house, you can see which access point I'm handed off to. You can see if I'm out in the pool, what I'm connected to. You can see if I'm in the bedroom, who I'm connected to. And it shows you not only who you're connected to for your, your primary coverage perspective, but also shows that line for that secondary coverage. So as you move throughout the house, it shows you what your coverage is going to look like and even tertiary coverage there. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I wanted to show that off because my friend, the home builder always has to explain things like this. And I wanted to make a little video so she could share it with her customer who this magnificent home site is for, but also for you. It's important to focus not just on having primary Wi-Fi coverage, but having secondary Wi-Fi coverage as well. A product like Eero that uses mesh for each one of these devices to communicate with each other is a great way to do it. Um, you can have any of the in-home products, or if you have a, a professional install, we can also draw a map and tell you exactly where to place those. But I want to take a minute to explain that to you. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, send comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you are a home builder and you want me to look at some of your designs, please reach out. I'll be happy to help. Anyway, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.